Okay. Well, something, something we've always done when we started uh, making a tune is uh, starting with some samples. We've been big record buyers from car boots and sales and whatnot. And um, sometimes there's nothing like just getting a sample in there and just seeing what happens. And that's the way we're going to attack things today. So we've got um, a very, well, a few drum, drum samples in there, very sparse drum sounds. We've got a string sample, which we lifted from a soundtrack. It's very simple, but Chris has spread that across the keyboard. And Danny is working on the, the phrase loop around the helicon, just for an instant sort of vocal fix. And uh, yeah, let's see what we've got, let's, I guess. Let's uh, yeah, kick it off, see what happens. <laughs> so it's very straightforward, very open. Something to build on, basically. Dan, you had a really good loop. You just you just uh, laid in. So from here on in, it's just sort of get stuck in and see what happens. So say for instance we've got a we've got a nice little vibe sort of coming together there. Might be a good idea to stick the bass line in. So yeah. The bass line which is just following the vocal loop at the moment, just to give a just to give us a bit of a, a basis to work on. So I've got a eight bars, eight bar loop at the moment. Cool. So that's alright. Yeah. That's okay. Okay? Yep. Yeah. So we'll just whiz that in. Yeah, just take a second off. I reckon. in there now done mm. maybe get the ooze in there and then you can leave those off the yeah we can run those off the... we got that just for the sake of it in yeah. as well because that was nice doubling up the bass line. i'll leave the string off for now but let's get um you wired up is the mic turned off on the it is now yeah okay so i'll just stick that in Thank you. 
Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the code. Thank you. 
Obviously, having the ant next door helps keep this um, no spill uh, going into the mic um, when it's while the ant's been uh, amp, uh, mic'd up, and uh, yeah, also you can, ju you can just hear what the guitar's doing on the speakers without just hear hearing what the ants. Because obviously, what you're hearing here is what's being recorded rather than the actual sound of the ants. So, so let's see what we've got. This is building up sort of quite nicely now with some good Juno chords. Yeah. No, not really. Just a little bit on the uh, the first loop um, that Danny put in, and that's uh, just a little bit of top end, bit of time mid there to bring it out, and a bit of a low cut just to kind of take away the, lump, the, the rumble in the room. Because I mean, we're just throwing this stuff in at the moment. Obviously, the mic's picking up <laughs> what's going on in the speakers, but we've, we've got the speaker, the, the monitors quite sort of at a reasonable level. <laughs> If he's got a chorus on it, always put it in stereo, that's the vibe. Thank you. 
sorry, that it's just difficult to right. keep it in time. I mean, it might be worth. This is quite a nice sort of vibe. What, the initial starting point, which was kind of the moody strings, has disappeared now. And it's kind of gone down for a more of a kind of electro y route, which is nice. Um, let's have a listen to what we've got and sort of see where we're going to take it. <laughs> really gives it a bit of character and really broadens it and makes it stereo and nice. Um, Which reverb plugin is it? Oh, uh, that's the, it's Space Designer on Logic, so it's, yeah, it's um, really, really good. One of the, one of the, our favourite, you can always find a setting that's, pro, you know, you can apply to anything really, it's good. Well, I think now we'd normally look at some drum programming, won't we, and some percussion and just build the drums up a little bit, little bit but also probably look at whether it now's a good juncture for whether it's going to be a vocal tune or a, or a, a more tracky thing. Is it something that suits a full vocal or is it something that's going to be more aimed at the dance floor? From the sounds of it, it looks like we probably go down the full vocal route. It's got that sort of vibe to it. There's plenty of room for a full vocal in it. So those are the sort of things we'd be looking at sort of next, I guess. And those hi hats are come come from the same sample. Yeah, so it's at the moment it's just a drum loop. Um, if I just solo that, it's a drum loop that's been um, put on onto the US twenty four with a few of the hi hats kind of uh, muted out. And then there's a slight variation here. A lot of the time, it's it's nice to start um, with a drum loop. Um, just because it's instant, kind of, you don't have to worry about programming anything. And often we'll start with a drum loop and then kind of go back and maybe sort of get a bit more intricate. But a drum loop's a good way of just getting some in instant character, character and yeah, yeah. especially from an old record as well, because that's like sort of an old, one of our old um, disco samples from one of our records from ages ago. So, um, would you usually group stuff up together into different stems? Um, this point that would no, on. that's we. To be honest, tend not to do it. It's usually towards the end, especially when we're, we're dealing with lots of vocals, um, and we'll we'll definitely group vocal big vocal sections together. Just makes it a little bit easier. Um, but in terms of of the musical parts, it tends to be kind of separate. It's each track's different. Kind of you, you deal with it in in different ways, but yeah. Um, what would be the, in terms of mixing, what would be the next step? Or you, you always write until the very end and then do you mix as you go? Or? Uh, sometimes, I mean as you can see I was going along there just kind of sticking little bits. I mean, you, when you can kind of hear quite quickly what you want from um, you know, a recording. So a lot of the time when we record the, the vocals from the loop station you, can, you, you kind of almost know you need to put a bit of top end on it 
you know, and, and roll off the bottom end because it's been done in the room. Um, so some quick fix things that you do, that we, we do on the on the on the on the fly, but we tend not to get into the nitty gritty till we've kind of got a, a sort of half decent arrangement um, and not get too bogged down in the mixing because it, it's especially in this process we just gets want to in keep the way. It, yeah, gets yeah. in the way of writing, gets in the way of the vibe and. Things can stay pretty raw for a, for a while until we've got the idea fixed in anyway, until that's locked in. 